Why don't you get a domain name for free? Whether you are starting a blog, an online store, or a personal uh, website, this guide will show you the best way to get a free domain in 2024. So let's dive in. The very first thing I wanted to do, of course, is to understand if you're building a business or a personal project, they got exactly the same. So the best ways to get a free domain, for example, is to get a website builder who offers free domains. For example, uh, it could be Wix, it could be Squarespace, it could be WordPress, it could be hosting up. When you choose uh, to get a free domain, once you get your domain, you must have an actual, um, let's say, for example, like a website builder or an either a host provider it can be helping you to use that domain. That's the reason why you can use, for example, Hostinger. So in Hostinger, for example, if you get, uh, let's say, a, this domain, I go for searched, I have all of this domains available. And you can see that these are totally for free for the first year. So when you decide to purchase this domain, you get this domain totally for free. And then, of course, you needed to pay uh, the next year this amount of money. So you can even look out for a product or a domain that is less than $10, which there is actually a lot that you can use and save there. It's hosting it. The other thing that you can do, of course, is to get some free domain extensions, for example, the .tk, ml, cf, and so much more. Now, there's um, a, another way to get a free domain, which, for example, once you get a website builder and you don't like that, you can get more uh, freenum, for example. So let's open a new tab. I'm going to go for freenum. Freenum is um, an anonymous public DNS that can help you to get a free domain and has an anonymous public DNS resolver, so you don't need to get a hosting to help to get started here. For example, let's say I go to type Tech Express, check the availability, and into my availability, I must or I might be having something else that you can try, for example, is the Infinity Free. The Infinity Free can be helping you to provide a cost a domain which is totally for free. Now the free version of course comes with 5 GB disk space, there's no bandwidth, there are hosted domains but they don't include the DNS management, the remote support and the Python node. So if you want to create your very first domain totally for free, just go directly here into Infinity Free. You can type for example here into Freenum. Let's start with Infinity Free. I choose a domain name. So let's type, for example, tech expressed, or I can even look out for true. We'll go like this and domain extensions. I have, for example, TTWS, I have free NF, I have RF. So look out for one that can be really easily to get, for example, um, short and easily to locate and check the availability. Now this availability, for example, website for, this is the account label, the account username, this is for example, this is, uh, could be generated automatically, and you can be changing your passcode the next time to have access directly here into Infinity Free. So in this case, it would be like this. And the email contents, let's go for I approved and create your account. So uh, my account should be now already been created. And it's like here, I'm going to type my username, let's say, for example, safe. And setting up the host account, this will only take a few minutes, the page will continue automatically. So my account is this username, I can change this later. And please take in mind that it might be taking up to 72 hours for a new domain to be visible everywhere due to the DNS changing. Now that we are inside the dashboard, for example, this is the part where you can just start to customize your own domain. For example, here it is this domain. I'm going to hit into Managed. And inside the Manage, we have the Website Builder, we have the File Manager, and we can manage the SSL certificate. So here are my DNS records. If I want to, for example, to use this domain, so I can be adding this into a new website, for example, here into Google Sites, I'm going to go directly here into Google Sites. I'm going to go directly into my account. And once I am directly here into one, uh, one account, for example, like this, I'm going to choose a blank site. And here I'm going to type my custom domain and the custom domain. Let's go for the start the setup. And usually it should be this domain. So I copy and I paste it. 
Now it's going to be asking you to verify your ownership. And this is the part where you want her to enter the DNS service verification code. So usually it should be asking you to enter a C name. And it's going to be giving you a label host. So you copy this info where it says C name. I go here into the DNS settings. I go for add new C name record. And here it's going to be asking you for a name and a target. In my case, this target is uh, this information. So I just go back. I select the target domain. I paste it and I create my C name record. And just like that, my website is now going to be connected into my Google site, for example. So this is how we can actually do this process. Something else that you can do is, for example, enter the Google for non-profits. The Google for non-profit management resources. Um, let's go for domain, multiple domains to activate workspace for nonprofits. Now, this, for example, is one element that can be helping you, even for some students' programs, that they also offer some free domains. But there are a few requirements in order to get started for the Google Workspace for nonprofits. And the eligibility, of course, it should be appearing here. So you should not. Uh, be, you will have course to be verified and the computer organization is not a governmental entity organization, it's not a hospital, it's not a school, it's not an academic institution, uh, offers a break program from school, for example, you can start the verification process in here and it's going to be asking you, of course, to review the eligibility requirements, to request a Google for nonprofit accounts, to wait for the verification and activate a Google for nonprofit products. So. Uh, those are ones uh, elements that you can use to get started. Of course, there are a few limitations of a free domain. For example, there are branding limitations. The free domains might be expired or be revoked once it finished, for example, an annual plan. So you plan to use a domain for more than one or two years. What I can suggest to you is to look out for a domain that is cheap, that is low priced, and you can be having access to a lot of elements. For example, I use a lot of Namecheap. Namecheap has a lot of domains that might not be for free, but they are actually extremely free, uh, extremely with a low price. So I can be using this for more than one year. For example, I'm going to scroll down. You can see that this uh, Techpress.my has a $1.80 and I have access to absolutely anything. So speaking about free or Paying, let's say for example one dollar for this i think that the best solution is to try out with something which is low priced but i still have access to absolutely everything which is inside my dns records the security info the ssl certificates and so much more so before you decide to be aware of some limitations uh be aware that if you're serious about your website a paid domain might be a better long-term investment so that's it now you know how to get a free domain in 2024 uh if this helped guide you don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more great tools how to get started for example with finish free for more uh domains and so much more elements so thank you once again for watching the video guys hopefully we can all see you next time